If I had to describe the most important number on this video, I would have to say, 3. I am sure you will know exactly what I mean during the next minutes. Speaking about this number, 3 weeks ago, I presented something really special. Probably one of this year's most beautiful motorcycles. At least, that is what some of you wrote on the comments section. And I just have to agree. But today, we are going to see the other side. No, not the other side of the motorcycle. I meant a modern perspective, with a similar inspiration. Welcome to Racer TV. After so many requests, I could not resist the temptation. And so, here it is. One of the three motorcycles, built by one of the world's best customed motorcycle builders. Two talented brothers, Budger and Gaz, owners of Auto Fabrica, located in England. But let me remind you about the story of the three motorcycles. Yamaha Europe chose Auto Fabrica under the Yard Built Customs program to build three projects. They gave them two new XSR900 and a 1976 XS750. And here is what they did with them. This is Prototype 1, a pure concept design, which can only defy any builder's imagination to stretch the limits of what a motorcycle can be. And they really had stretched the boundaries. It looks astonishing. Prototype 2, which was built more like a factory production motorcycle. In other words, something that could be a street legal machine. And finally, the Prototype 3, which was the main source of inspiration for the whole project. And also the beautiful motorcycle I presented three weeks ago. So, this means today, we are going to see Prototype 2. Prototype 1 is equally impressive. But I think the Road Street Legal version, is the one that is going to satisfy the curiosity of most of you. If I had to define this project in one single word, it would be, audacious. I know that most Auto Fabrica works, already follow this word. But this time, I think they went further. Has Auto Fabrica ever transformed a modern motorcycle? No. This Yamaha was the first one. And it seems they really got it right. Joining the front fairing with the fuel tank, is not a completely new idea. But they did it, with very elegant and aerodynamic lines. And even with such a modern approach, we can still find the usual Auto Fabrica signature. Like the usual curvature of the exhaust pipes, and the slatted taillight. A really impressive transformation, with the XSR900. One of this Yamaha's most interesting features, is the engine. Just like the XS750 model, it has three cylinders. Although I already talked about this a few years ago, let me explain the secret behind this kind of engine. A three-cylinder engine has a very similar rumble, compared with a six-cylinder. But I am going to demonstrate it with the sound of two completely different cars.
so. Which one has six cylinders? The rumble sounds almost the same, right? Then here is the answer. Unbelievable, isn't it? And this is also true with this XSR 900. It is not exactly the same sound of a straight six, but in some situations, and with the right exhausts, it may even fool the most experienced ears. I have to say that the XSR 900 is not exactly an easy motorcycle for a custom project. Especially because of the fuel tank, which in my opinion, has an unorthodox shape. But the engine's amazing sound, may be an excellent argument to forget any limitation. And now you know why 3 was the most important number on this video. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.